Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take you through the temperatures today and a boy, it was hot and it was smoky. And in some cases, the temperatures probably weren't as hot as they could have been because of that veil of smoke basically filtering out the sunshine. We still got 100, though, in Scotts Valley, 89 Santa Cruz, low to middle 90s Santa Cruz Mountain. So it was warm even at the coast. Check out Watsonville. They hit 97. They were actually warmer in Watsonville than you were over in Morgan Hill and almost the same in Gilroy at 99. Hollister also at 99. 104 San Juan, Batista, Romas, and Prunedale 97 to 99. Salinas Valley also toasty. 97 here in Salinas. 101 in Gonzales and 98 in King City. Everybody again with a lot of smoke and air quality anywhere from moderate to unhealthy uh, for most of the area. 89 Marina today, 91 in Seaside. We had 98 at Pebble and 94 in Carmel. No sea breeze really to give you any relief. So uh, that was one of the problems. It's all clear in terms of cloud cover. We have no marine layer and no fog. Everything that you've been seeing out over the bay or out over your house is all smoke. You can see there's the creek fire and then we have the glass fire and the winds are in general coming down like this. So they're blanketing most of the state really with smoke. So we're not the only ones uh, and it's going to take a little while to get rid of that. Here's your dome of high pressure, which is still sitting on top of us. So I don't have any relief for you tomorrow. It'll be Saturday when that front eventually knocks this heat out and it'll do it slowly. You can see here from Futurecast that the heat will be with us tomorrow and eventually on Saturday you can see it kind of flattens out and moves off to our south and east and some cooler air comes in from the North Pacific and also of course we'll see an onshore flow that will also help to scour out the smoke. But again it's going to be a process starting late tomorrow and really seeing the major improvements both in temperatures and smoke and air quality on Saturday. Heat advisories up. We do not include the coast in that, although it will be pretty warm as you saw uh, at the coast. So if you don't have air conditioning, you're going to be feeling that anywhere in the area. But that includes Santa Cruz Mountains all the way through the Santa Clara Valley, all the way down the Salinas Valley and the southern parts of San Benito and Monterey counties. We also have a red flag warning that now includes the Santa Cruz Mountains and the Santa Lucias for very dry conditions, very low relative humidity and wind which again, in a case of a fire start, would mean that the fires would start very quickly and move very quickly. So we've been seeing that, of course, for the last couple of months. So we know what that means now. Clear skies overnight. Otherwise, it's smoke and haze with temperatures in the 50s, 60s, and some low 70s for overnight lows. 80s to middle 90s at the coast tomorrow. So that's warm to hot. And I expect quite a bit of smoke again tomorrow. 95 to 104 for the inland valleys and hills, so you will be cooking. Again, if you have air conditioning, good idea to turn that on and leave all the windows closed up. 83 San Francisco, 87 Oakland, 96 San Jose, 100 in Los Gatos tomorrow, and middle 90s to triple digits up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We have 80s and 90s along the coast tomorrow. There will be a sea breeze in the afternoon, though, to eventually start to bring some cooler air in. 94 Watsonville, 99 Aromas, 104 San Juan Batista, Triple digits, Gilroy and 97 in Morgan Hill, Salinas Valley, all 100s basically. King City, Greenfield, Gonzales, a 92 here in Salinas, and a mix of 80s to around 90 on the peninsula. That is well above average high temperatures for this time of year, 101 Carmel Valley. Your KSBW 8-day forecast uh, shows what we want to see, which is cooling and clearing, right? So the cooler air arrives, it's also cleaner air. It's coming in off of the Pacific. We're back to 60s and 70s for the coast by Saturday and Sunday. We'll also see a nice cooling trend for the valleys and hills starting on Saturday going through Sunday. We'll knock those temperatures back to 70s and 80s and clear the skies out. We'll be, better to, we'll be back to better air quality on Saturday, so just give it about another 36 hours.